Good evening. Let me call this meeting to order the special board meeting for September 1st, 2016. It is now 6.30. Uh, let me do the roll, roll call termination. We have a quorum. Mr. Vicky Gonzalez. Present. Mr. Dr. Norberto Gantu. Present. Mr. Barbara Ramirez. Present. Mr. Benito Sainz. Present. Myself, Dan Garcia is present as well. We do have a quorum. Uh, item section two, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, item one, consider taking possible action on resurfacing of Fort Ringle entrance and Ringle Middle School paving repairs. Mr. Board President, members of the board, superintendent, ladies and gentlemen, bids were requested at the above mentioned bid, bid 170-07 for the resurfacing of Fort Ringle entrance. They were read aloud on August the 23rd, 10 a.m. in the morning, and bids were received from the following companies, Eduardo Guerrero and JF Utility Printing. If you look at your attachment, we have a low bid, JF Utility, and we are recommending approval to move on with this project. Uh, uh, motion item one. The move we approve item one is presented. We have a motion by Mr. Gonzalez. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Ramirez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign, motion carries. Item two, consider and take possible action on district portable classroom buildings. The RGCCISD uh, is requesting approval to restore, relocate, sell and auction or auction 39 portable buildings uh, the uh, we are at the administration recommending approval uh, to approve again on this particular project where are the buildings sorry they're uh, located uh, with without within the district uh, Mr. Science. Uh, they need uh, kind of our attention they're vacant uh, dormant would say and uh, we've made a comprehensive uh, survey a physical survey and uh, we went out there and uh, we took it to committee, we looked at them and uh, they need little help. So uh, it was decided that we bring them forth so that we can try and uh, restore, relocate, save them or sell some of them and uh, bring them up to date because they're just weathered and they're getting, they're getting worse. They're and, getting, and they're not in use right now? No, they're not in use. And, and that's a concern. There, there's quite a few out there that we need to address. And the chances of selling them are, are, are good? Well, we're going to try. We, need, we do need some. The district does need some in, in specific locations. Like, for example, I give you one example. Korea High School uh, at the uh, Big Ball uh, Stadium. Down there, they, need, they lack uh, room for storage on equipment for the sport. And they've had to carry stuff back and forth. So that's one example. We're going to make uh, an effort to see how many uh, are in need. And, and then after that, we will see. We have a request also, for example, from a church, uh, Our Lady of the Peace uh, from La Casita. Uh, Mr. Faustino Lopez has called me twice. He's ready, if possible, to see if we can negotiate one for the church uh, and et cetera. So we're taking them as, as, as we get the request. All we're asking for is permission to move forward and be able to save most of them because either one, otherwise they will probably rot. Uh, they all they need a lot of lot of, lot of repairs. Right. So, so moved. We have a motion by Mr. Science. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Ramirez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Rizzo. It is now 635 under the authority of the Texas Government Code section 551.071. One will be heading to close session. It is 8.52, we are out of executive. The item A requires no action. Item item B, do we have a motion? Mr. President, I move that uh, we name Mr. Alfredo More Garcia the sole action candidate for the position of the chair of the school. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Ramirez, do we have a second? We have a second by Dr. Cantu. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. Uh, if, if I may, let me just first of all say that both candidates were 
overly qualified. Both interviews were phenomenal. Um, at the end of the day, it just came down to vision. It came down to a program that's been started. It came down to what you normally see when you hear Mr. Garcia talk and his love for the children. And that's not to say that Ms. Guerra isn't. It's just they both show that they're dedicated, that they dedicate their lives to education, to school, to the children in our community. And he has, he's established his vision of what he wants the school district to look like. And we look forward to the fruition of that. And uh, I think the General Assembly speaks for itself. He can relate to employees on a level that a lot of us wish we could. And he senses the pulse of the district and the pulse of the employees. And that's, that's priceless. That's stuff you can't teach and that's stuff that it's, it's innate. And you either have it or you don't. And both candidates have it. Um, it's, these are always tough, tough decisions. But um, I look forward. It's, it's, a, it's a great day for RDCCISD. And I look forward to the future. It'll be bright. to take the opportunity to tell you all that uh, I thank y'all for the opportunity. I thank my sisters. So thank you all very much. There's a motion for adjournment. So moved. We have a motion and a second. Second. The meeting is now adjourned at 8.55.